so can you all just stand up and twist a little bit and make make some sort of loud noise for a second all right how are you all doing tonight I flew here from Portland, Oregon today, and I uh, haven't slept since, or had a rest since like 3.30, so I'm a little groggy. I hope I make some sense up here. Just break it out! Yow! <laughs> okay, I promise. All right, so, uh, God, there's all these, I was listening to the previous speakers. Um, I was like, oh, I want to use that image. I want to use that image. <laughs> Got this one image of um, Jesus breaking free of the cross, breaking his arms free, and all these Jews, the, the centurions are beating back, they're his friends, are like, yeah, and he gets down, he's like, rawr, and he puts these two friends up on the crosses, they're dying, and they're like, oh my God, you totally rock, and he walks up to try to free him, and by that time, the indigenous people of that place have risen up and overthrown the run over the centurions, and Jesus, his mom Mary is like just knocking all these guys down with swords and stuff, and they take over. You know, they get they get down, they take that <laughs> risk or they take that step, and then people that are all feeling kind of similarly oppressed go, "Whoa, awesome!" And then a few people are doing it, and then everyone's like, "Whoa!" And more stuff starts to happen. So I didn't include those images, but they're right here in this laptop. Um, <laughs> And they're kind of thanks to Michelangelo, actually, um, which is a long story. But, all right, so I'm going to be talking tonight on behalf of City Repair in Portland, Oregon, and kind of a lot of other cities now where, where City Repair is happening, because kind of the theoretical basis is much the same. Uh, but first I want to thank Lori and Troy and Sam and uh, um, Paul and so many other people that are helping to make this happen. Thank you profoundly for bringing me here. I really, really appreciate being here. I, it was amazing to arrive and see this beautiful place. And you know, when you arrive in a place, like you go, wow, oh my God, it's so beautiful. And then the people that live there are like, yeah, well, you should live here. But like, this is an amazingly beautiful place. And the people that I've met so far are just gleaming with brilliance and beauty. And I don't expect any of it to be perfect, okay? All right, so. As I understand it, um, and I've been paying attention to biological pioneers for a while, we're looking for solutions that we can enact um, that apply to all of these challenges that we have. Fortunately, we realize that all challenges um, are integral and systemic. For instance, the, uh, the big buyout that's happening right now with Wall Street and the great betrayal of, of our species that has happened um, in that context. like. It seems as if it's just financial, but it's going to be sociological, it's going to be ecological, and it's going to be economic. Somebody's going to try to exploit it. I'm just sitting here thinking, is there any kind of like, I mean, we've got this systemic situation that we've been dealing with for a long time that makes us all work harder than we need to with our lives. For instance, we have to work 35 years just to pay for a place to live in that context. Suddenly, the weakest link in the whole ecological, call ecology the economic system, has suddenly let us down so profoundly, and yet everyone else has been doing the work. Like, we've been, keeping, we've been keeping our share of the bargain, we've been keeping our promise to power the society, and yet the weakest link somehow threatens to bring us all down. I don't think that there's a biological corollary to that. I mean, it really is like a huge headache or sickness or something more akin to that sort of situation. All right, so as opposed to that, I'm talking about city repair tonight, which is, uh, I think, like, you know, you heard Paul talk and Kenny and um, Nina, I think, and they're all talking about solutions, and some of them are like the solution, like biomimicry is like the solution. I think they're all just pieces, really, but to me, the solution is us. It's the choices that we make. It's the power or courage in our hearts. Is it there or not? Will we bust loose or not? Because all the biomimicry in the world, all the ecological systems that we can engender, all the bioswales we can install, like we can't get it done fast enough until we find some kind of well inside of ourselves, 
or something some sense of connection to everybody else and everything else i was once in a rain forest and i was this guy was this little mind guy was holding my face in his hands and i was crying and i was like i am so sorry for what's happened to your people i'm so sorry and he's like you guys cannot take this all upon yourselves it's something that it, 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 it's, 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 it's all of our challenge, it's all of our story. You think it's been our villages that have been destroyed? No, you guys only came over and destroyed our villages because yours were destroyed so long ago. You don't even know your own story. How can you know what to do with your life? You come here trying to figure out what to do, how to help, how to heal the world. How can you know how to do that if you don't even know who you are? So there's this great common common challenge, common, common um, threat in a way, but it's the flip side of the threat is the greatest opportunity of all time now. And uh, it has a lot to do with like, some kind of impulse, the challenge will be met so by some kind of impulse we will find inside. And part of it will be like, ah, this is my birthright, I know it at last. And that's just not negotiable and no one can vote on this. I will come together with my community and I will take back the commons, I will take the streets and turn them into cornfields, or whatever we decide as a place-based community, you know, stuff like that is what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a huge, huge challenge of our time. And uh, indigenous people have a lot of the, a lot of the best models and, answer, and answers for us to, to consider. So, practical solutions, where e ecology, economy, um, the social and the political all come together. And you know, some of you have created cob benches. You may not quite have realized it yet, but you're doing all that at once under the idea or the auspices of maybe bioregionalism or localization. Somehow you're sharing, you're talking, you're joking, you're singing songs. And what's in there are these threads of a different kind of political uh, experience of direct creativity. We've somehow like accepted the notion that democracy is about casting a vote and someone else creates a policy and we add some kind of budgetary number and someone else carries it out and we just go back to work. That's not democracy. That's not anarchy either, of course. I mean, both of those at best become the same, where not only are we making choices, like formally and informally, but we're actually inhabiting the fruits of our labor. And in democracy, you never lose. The place-based community never loses. They come together and they make choices, they carry them out, and their lives get easier. And they're, and they're characterized by a more aesthetic experience of living. So to me, the great opportunity, it's somehow with us and between us. And what we do in City Repair is we focus on participation. Like if we're disengaged and feeling isolated, and we look around our landscape, and there is no place to even sit between where an old lady lives and where she has to walk to get her groceries, you, you can start to see that the physical environment reads like a road map of all of our challenges. What in the world are we doing? Going off to make big gulp cups, you know, or building some corporate office building when there's even one child in our community that is being victimized. We should no longer go to work until the most basic issues have been met. Seriously, like within like that, that, time, that time frame of 10 years we heard, that's what, we, this is the stuff we're gonna do within those 10 years, or not. Okay. So all this stuff is related. All the solutions, just like the issues, create compounding problems, like dominoes falling over. So are all of the so are all of the opportunities and all of the all of the initiatives that will come forth from us. They will address all these issues, many scales at once. The local will also address the global at once. Um, so before I go any farther, I just want to say that. I'm going to be presenting a bunch of stuff that's about being about doing catalytic work, work that is a catalyst for tons of other things to happen that you don't even want to try to control. Like, be the acu 